All right. If you suffer with migraines or headaches in this video, I'm going to show you a supplement that can help you in studies that's shown to decrease migraine and headache frequency and severity by upwards of 50%. So let's just hop into it. First of all, one of the things I've been able over the years to work with a lot of migraine, a lot of headache patients. And I feel that one of the things that contributes a lot to those things is your metabolism. So people who have good metabolism tend to not suffer with migraines as much as those who have a poor metabolism. So I'm going to throw out a couple of terms here. MOP is mitochondrial oxidative phosphorylation. Okay, that's a fancy way of saying that's the kind of metabolism that you want your cells to have because it produces a lot more energy for the food that you take in versus something like glycolysis is kind of a backup system. You see people who have a glycolytic or glycolysis-based metabolism if they're doing extreme diets or, or diets in general and a lot of fasting, they don't produce as much energy as easily. So they can tend to have more headaches, more migraines. Okay. So we really want to be going with the oxidative phosphorylation metabolism. Well, how do you do that? Well, one of the things you have to have is coenzyme Q10. Okay. They have found in studies. Now this was adolescence in pediatric, you know, kiddos in these studies, but upwards of 32, 33% of those kids had low CoQ10 levels and there have been studies that show that the same thing happens in adults, not to that level, but CoQ10 is heavily involved in oxidative phosphorylation, the metabolism that we want to have. So it makes sense that if your CoQ10 levels are potentially low, we could supplement and see good results. And the studies bear that out. They gave adults 100 to 150 milligrams of CoQ10 per day. And what they found is that they were able to decrease headache frequency in some patients, not all of them, by upwards of 50%. Okay, now let's talk about some of the pros and cons of supplementing with CoQ10. First of all, the pros. It has shown to decrease headache and also migraine frequency, duration, and severity. Okay, pretty well tolerated, not a lot of side effects with it, so that's a good thing. And it's not that expensive. Okay, so those are some pros. As far as why you may not want to do it, number one, if you're looking for something quick, CoQ10 is probably not it. It can take upwards of three months to really see the full effects of CoQ10. They did some studies that looked at comparing CoQ10 to amitriptyline, which is another migraine therapy. At one month, amitriptyline was more effective. At three months, they became even. So again, it's going to take some time. The other con I would mention is supplementing with CoQ10 isn't really fixing the root cause, which is you, there's a good chance you have a metabolic issue. Obviously you have to address that through diet because CoQ10 is dependent on other things as well. So you want to be eaten in a way that supports your metabolism. It's kind of the take home point here, but in the meantime, CoQ10 could be a viable option. It's effective. It does take a while to work but it's effective and it's not that expensive, pretty well tolerated. So let me know in the comments, other video topics that would be helpful for me to cover. Make sure to grab your free checklist. Uh, talk about a lot of other natural therapies there that I don't on these videos and uh, gives you the ability to ask me questions there as well. So make sure to go grab that. Link is in the description. Hope this helped guys. I'll see you in the next one.